Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Patches. Welcome back to my channel. I bought some stuff from Book Outlet recently and I wanted to share with you the seven books that I purchased. I feel like I ordered this a while ago and it just came in the mail in time for quarantine, I guess. One of these, which I'll start off with, I have read already. So this is The Whisper Man by Alex North. I have read this already for a book club. I mentioned it in my wrap up video essentially about how do i explain this it's a, it's like a copycat killer terrorizing a town and the main character is a dad with his son they just relocated because his wife recently passed away unfortunately due to cancer and so they wanted to kind of start fresh but then the boy starts seeing weird stuff in the house and the creepiest parts about this book actually were why the author wrote it in the first place because his own son kept referring to the boy in the floor we're moving if i ever have a child and they ever say i'm talking to the boy in the floor this was really creepy this was really good but I wanted a physical copy because I read this on my iPad and I, I really did like it. I gave it four stars, but yeah, I just wanted a little physical copy. Okay, next is The Death of Mrs. Westaway by Ruth Ware. The only Ruth Ware book that I have read is The Turn of the Key and I heard that that is the best one, I think, or the people's most favorite. So I decided to give this one a shot because I hear this is a close second. I believe this is about somebody who gets a letter in the mail to give her her inheritance but that letter was supposed to be sent to someone else and i think the person who actually receives it get, goes along with it i think i really don't i really don't know <laughs> i also have the woman in cabin 10 and a physical copy of the turn of the key but i have not read in a dark dark wood or the lion game but i figured i should go ahead and start with this one turn of the key was amazing too that's probably one of my favorite thrillers of all time so i'm excited to dive into this one as well also the cover is super satisfying it's got like a the trees are like shiny, but this is like a really like silvery matte. I like it. Next, I've actually read a couple pages of this. I haven't gotten too far into it, but it, it's by Kathy Parks called The Notes from My Captivity. I really don't know a whole lot about this, but just the title alone had me intrigued. So I decided to pick it up, especially with the book outlet price. I was like, why not? I think it's about literally someone who is being held captive. Um, so far, what I've read is it's a dad and a daughter trying to convince their her mom to let her go on this trip and i think some horrible stuff happens on the trip i don't know but i'm i'm i've read i'm at page 15 and it's a pretty quick read oh well the the little byline is girl meets boy and the family holding her hostage so next i have a book by lisa let's called the passenger again don't know too much about this but from what i gathered it is about a woman who kills her husband and now she's on the run claiming different identities and it is smaller than I thought it would be, but it seems quite fascinating. Truly the reason I picked it up and was intrigued because this this dark image right here, I come from the middle of nowhere, North Carolina, and this kind of reminded me of home, as twisted as that is. But just like this dark, dreary, dirt path. Not that my hometown is dark and dreary, but it just reminded me of such, okay? The only thing that really bugs me is the cover like lettering is it's kind of out of focus and it hurts my eyeballs i'm excited to get into this one it seems like a really creepy read and on the back it does say if you're a fan of gone girl and the girl in the train um it's probably going to be something for you while i own both of those books have not read them seen the movies need to read them so next is melissa albert's the hazel wood don't know too much about this series i think it's just two books because i've seen i think it's called the night country essentially i got this though because every bookstore i go into i feel like this is on a display somewhere like i've always seen this i love the cover i love the colors it's got a really cool um style to it i really don't know what it's about though so i'm excited to kind of go into this one completely blind i find book outlet an easy website to kind of test things out like this because it's just such good prices so i wanted to pick this up and kind of see if it was something for me i do kind of want to get into this next because i have a i have like a weird inkling hankering if you will for like more ya fantasy science fiction which i'm just assuming this is about but i again could be wrong a lot of people raved about this though i purchased this because well for a bad reason i guess i got it from the library read the first like couple pages and actually really liked where it was going and then i saw that it was available on book outlet so i just went ahead and bought it i've heard mixed reviews about this it's a flat share by beth o'leary about two people who share a flat 
I believe in the United Kingdom. I don't know if the setting is necessary, but basically they write notes to each other. I don't think they ever meet, but I think they like are starting to have feelings for each other. It seems like a really good book to be reading right now while in quarantine. <laughs> it's something I kind of want to just give a shot and see if it's something that I don't, I don't know. And last but not least, for my book outlet haul, I got Catherine Sinner's Things You Save in a Fire. I've heard mixed reviews about this one as well. Ultimately, really love the cover. I think the colors are gorgeous. It's about a female firefighter in Texas. Don't know too much about it after that. But I've heard very mixed reviews about this and mixed reviews about this author in general. So I wanted to give it a shot. Why do I keep hitting myself in the glasses? I wanted to give it a shot though and just kind of see, again, for the book outlet prices, why not? Those are the books that I purchased from Book Outlet. It was my first Book Outlet order and it came just in time for when I am cooped up in my bedroom, staying away from people. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified when I'm uploading next, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye!